Hello and welcome to this edition of Mornings. I'm Rachel Rosenblatt. And I'm Andrew Calabretta. The annual North Penn Blood Drive is coming back to North Penn. Let's send it over to Mr. Frey and Mrs. Germain for all the information you need. Hey, North Penn. Mr. Fry? Mr. Germain. We're here to talk about uh, the upcoming blood drive at North Penn. Hey, two weeks from today, Friday, February 8th, we're having a huge school-wide American Red Cross blood drive. I'm in our Ox gym all day long, Friday, February 8th. Giving blood is a totally selfless thing that only helps other people. It's a great thing that you should start doing at a young age and you can continue doing on later in life. The people who need blood the most are people who are sick. People like cancer patients or people who are in accidents are the people who need blood the most. So think about it, in your life, you probably know someone who unfortunately is dealing with cancer, someone that you know or a loved one, or maybe someone that was in an accident. Those people relied on other people to give blood and now you have a chance to do the same thing for someone else. So who is eligible to give blood? Well, anyone in our building, students, staff, um, we're looking for students 16 years or older. The most important thing we need you to do is get permission from your parents. On Tuesday, January 29th, our class of 2021 is gonna be going around to junior and senior night times, and we'll be hand delivering the permission slips. You can also pick them up in your home office, and we're gonna be email blasting all students with it as well. Giving blood is totally safe. There's no risks to the person giving the blood. We will have nurses from the Red Cross here using sterile needles and clean equipment to take blood from you, and there's absolutely no risk for you. So signups for the blood drive will be during all lunches in the cafeteria starting Wednesday, January 30th. We'll have them Thursday, Friday, and also Monday, February 4th. All right, North Penn, have a great weekend. Me and Mr. Maine can't wait to see you on February 8th at the blood drive. And if you have any questions between now and then, if you're eligible, please feel free to shoot us an email or even stop by the health suite and ask one of our helpful nurses. The North Penn Auto Club hosted a night of races in the senior cafeteria. The club held a Forza racing tournament as a way to raise money for charity. Contestants raced simultaneously on three large screens throughout the afternoon. Congratulations to Zach Hartman for racing his way to first place in the tournament. Mr. Brumball is back to test your knowledge on this edition of the Brumball Challenge. This week, he wants to know how many days are left in the school year, including the last day. Remember to tweet your answers to at MPTV using the hashtag Brumball. We have North Penn News reporter Brandy Marlin live at the sophomore course selection assembly. Hey Brandy, can you tell us about the course selection process? Thanks guys. My name is Brandy Marlin and I'm reporting live from the auditorium. As you can see behind me there's a course selection presentation going on and there's a few key things everyone should know about course selection. The first is that you have to sign on to home access in order to see the classes you're requesting. So you can go to the request tabs and pick and choose your classes. The second is that all your requests need to be in by the Super Bowl so you make sure you get those in before the game starts. The third thing is seniors you guys don't even have to worry about it so you guys can sit back and relax. That's all from the auditorium and sending it back to the desk. Thanks, Brandy. Hey, Andrew, I heard there's a big basketball game tomorrow at North Penn. Yeah, I did too. Let's check in with Angela Tessitore for more information. Thanks, guys. You better believe there's a basketball game tomorrow. The world-famous Harlem Wizards are coming to North Penn High School again. The game starts at 7 and tickets cost $12. Be sure to purchase your tickets today with the link on the North Penn website. The tickets will be sold out. Do you love math? If so, North Penn High School will be having the 70th annual American Mathematics Competition on Thursday, February 7th during first, second, and part of third period. If you are interested, register with your math teacher next Friday. If you do not take a math class, go to Mrs. Wright in E110 or E134 to register. Tonight is the annual Republic Night at North Penn, so come out for a night of Indian dances and performances. Tickets will be $5 and the doors will open at 6.30. Seniors, graduation will be here before you know it, so don't forget to purchase your cap and gowns by March 31st. Purchase them at sscgradstore.com before it's too late. Finally, check your email. Data Match is here. Check out the free matchmaking survey that was sent to you this morning. I have it up right here. And who knows, maybe Andrew and I will be a match. The results will be revealed on Valentine's Day. That's all we have for this week. I'm Angela Tessitore, sending it back to the desk. Thanks, Angela.
Congratulations to Mr. Jeff Fakish for receiving the 2017-2018 Pennsylvania Coach of the Year Award for Girls Swimming and Diving, presented by the National Federation of State High School Coaches Association. This award recognizes those who are leading their sport, shaping their athletes, and contributing in a positive way to their community. Keep up the good work, Mr. Fakish. This week, we have Eric Jesperger here to give us the sports update. Eric, are you going to the Harlem Wizards game here at this weekend? Thanks, Rachel and Andrew. I will be at the game tomorrow night, but before we get to the games this weekend, let's check out the game from this past week here at North Penn. We start off in the pool after the boys and girls swim teams hosted and defeated CB West Monday and now get set for their meet today after school against CB South. On the courts, the boys' basketball team fell on the road Thursday night after coming up short 69-56 to Downtown East, but look to rebound tonight as they host CB East at 7 o'clock. The girls' basketball team went 1-1 on the week after falling to Archbishop Carroll 45-29 Monday night, but went on to top Lansdale Catholic Wednesday night in the final score 55-52. The girls are away tonight at CB East and are back at home tomorrow as they face off against Gwen and Mercy Academy in the Navy Gym. In the wrestling team's Tuesday night matchup, the Knights top CB West by a score of 49 to 26. The wrestling squad stands at 7 to 7 on the season and heads to the league tournament this weekend at CB South. Wednesday night, the ice hockey squad improved to 6 2 and 2 after defeating CB East 5 to 3 thanks to two goals scored by senior Jared Albano. The girls' bowling team went 1 and 1, and the boys' bowling team won both of their matchups against Abington and Springford this week. After school today, the girls track team hits the road for a meet at Lehigh University. And tomorrow, the boys track team catches an early bus for the Ocean Breeze Invitational Meet. That's all I have for this week's sports update. Have a great weekend, North Penn. Now, let's send it back to the desk. Thanks, Eric. Mr. Monero is here live in the studio with the Various Voices Club. How's it going, guys? All right, good morning, North Penn High School. All right, today we have a very interesting topic, something different that we don't talk about here a lot. Amir Harrell and Rebecca Farley are here with us today. So. Amir, what brings you both here today? So we're here because we wanted to talk about the workshops that we had every Wednesday these three past weeks in January, where we teamed up with Victim Services and our club Various Voices, and we talked about sexual assault 101, what it is, what it looks like, bystander awareness, things that we can do to put ourselves in better situations or help a friend out or someone you may know. And we're wrapping all that up with this Wednesday on January 30th having a workshop where we view Audrey and Daisy. Okay, so I watched the trailer to Audrey and Daisy a little bit yesterday and it's pretty powerful looking stuff. Tell us a little bit about what that is. So Audrey and Daisy is a documentary about two high school girls that have been sexually assaulted and then they later find out that it, was, it has been recorded and it examines the ripple effect on the survivors, the victims, the families, the friends, community, school. Okay, so who's going to be on the panel that's going to have the discussion after viewing this? So we are going to have a panel after the viewing of Audrey and Daisy, and we're going to have counselors, educators, and advocates from Victim Services of Montgomery County. We're also going to have detectives from the police department. We're going to have a representative from the Laurel House. We're going to have North Penn administration, and then we're also going to have a few North Penn students on the panel. All right, so you're going to have a screening of Audrey and Daisy, followed by a panel discussion. What do you hope people take from this? Um, that it really opens up the conversation about sexual assault, and it comfort survivors into coming forward or talking to their friends about it. Okay, so it's a lot of information, a lot of heavy stuff. Um, so let's just make everybody clear, when is this? Who can come? Tell us a little bit about some of the particulars. So it'll be next Wednesday on the 30th of January from 6 to 8.30, and it's open to everyone. It can be North Penn students, non-North Penn students, family, friends. We really want to make sure that we get a lot of adults there because I think it's very, because a lot of young people know about and are very comfortable nowadays talking about sexual assault, but we really want to open it up to parents and people who might feel like it's a taboo topic, and we just want people that you may not think would want to talk about it, you want to expose them to it so they feel more comfortable, like men who might not feel like they have a voice in it, and anyone can be affected, doesn't matter who you are, so it's very good to bring anyone you can. All right, so students, parents, friends, males, females, really a good opportunity for everybody, right? All right, and there is a crisis hotline, too, as well. Um, so I don't know if we have that information right now, but we will definitely get that for you to make sure that people have that number so that if there is somebody that they're worried about or they hear something, um, we can make sure that people have that easy access to that as well. Um, you want to say anything about your wonderful advisor before we send it away? 
Um, I guess we'd like to thank Miss Kelly because she's helped us so much with the club in general, the workshops, partnering with Victim Services, and we love you, Miss Kelly. I feared for you guys a little bit if you didn't say hello to her this morning. <laughs> All right, North Penn, a lot of good information coming up. That's next Wednesday, January 30th, 6 o'clock in the auditorium, in the audion, sorry, in the audion for the screening of um, Audrey and Daisy, and then a very good panel discussion after. Have a great weekend, North Penn. We'll see you back here on Monday. Hey, Rachel, what would you like your dream house to look like? As long as it's near the beach, has a pool, and it's got a few dogs, I think I'm set. That's so cool. Let's see what North Penn students would, ha would want on this edition of Question of the Week. Did you tweet your answers? Stars, My dream home is in a log cabin in the middle of the forest somewhere. Big and it's got a pool. A coffin. My dream home is a mansion in, in New York. A tree house. A, a castle. castle. Well, our dream home starts out with like, it's the Eiffel Tower, but like, turned upside down. A house of Smurfs. Dr. Phil's Ranch. It's a little beach bungalow right by the beach, obviously. C-16. And there's like an igloo on the top of it. But of course, this is in the Sahara Desert because that's where you find igloos. My mom's house. A penthouse in New York City. I get that refrigerator box. Which is where we found the giant bearskin rug that's laid out across the floor. Far away, secluded from people underwater. Made out of thin mint. Girl Scout cookies. I pineapple under the sea. And then there is a uh, there's a bathtub in the bedroom, and you sleep in the bathtub, but only when there is water in it, because how else would you sleep in a bathtub? Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Igloo. Probably like a pod. LA. The house from up. A shack. There's a chair in the corner that is made of only Legos, and so it's very comfortable. That's where we go for timeout. Did you tweet your answers to at MPTV? Let's check in with Mr. Brumball himself for the answer. Hey, the answer you've all been waiting for. On Monday, we will have 91 days until the very last day of school. Bet you didn't know that? Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brimball Challenge and make the rest of the school year a good one. The winner of the Brumball Challenge is at EJHAM51. That's all we have on this edition of Mornings. I'm Rachel Rosenblatt. And I'm Andrew Calabretta. Have a great weekend, North Penn.